Hello, so in the last video, I told you that we were gonna start building our user's model. Um, but when we think about logging users in, we need a good way to handle sessions and cookies. So I think what we're gonna do is take a step back um, before we start building the user's model and build our sessions and cookie classes so that we can use those inside of our uh, user's uh, model. And so we're gonna dive right in, so let's Let's get going. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to place these in the core uh, of the application. So right here in the core directory, I'm going to create a new file. And the first one, I'm going to create session.php. I'm gonna, while I'm at it, I'm just going to create another one, and we'll call that cookie.php. So now we have a session class and a cookie class. So let's start with the session class. Let's go ahead and open up PHP tags. And this is going to be a parent class. We're not going to extend anything. So uh, that looks like this. And then we're just going to start building out some public static methods. Um, this is more for code organization. We're not really in, ever going to instantiate this session class. We could, um, but I don't really think that's necessary. I think we're just going to use some static methods. And we're just going to um, use this class as basically an organization. We, that way we can include this class on any of our projects, and then we have our session um, methods. So the first thing we do is create a public static function. And first one we'll do is exists, okay? And we're gonna pass that a name. And all this is going to do is going to return uh, we'll do a ternary operator here, and we're either going to return uh, true or we're going to return false. Okay, so what we're checking is if it's set dollar underscore session, and then we're passing that name. So if that's set, it's going to pass back true. If it's not, we're going to get false. So that's easy enough. So let's move on to our next method. So we'll do a public static function get. This time we'll pass it, that in a name. And what we're going to do is we're going to return dollar score session. Name. All right. And then we want to set a session. So how about public static function set? And we're going to give that a name and a value. OK. And that will just be we'll return session name is equal to value. Right? So this is a really super simple class, but um, it will help us as we're going. So let's go ahead and create a delete. So we can delete a session. That's also a static method. And so we're going to do if self exists. So we're going oh, to check if it exists first. OK. If it does. We're going to use unset dollar underscore session name. Okay. And then uh, the last method that we're going to put in our session um, is going to be uh, it's it's going to be a way for us to get our user agent, and it doesn't necessarily have to live in this session uh, class, but I'm going to go ahead and put it here anyway. U agent. And what we're going to do is strip away the version on this. We're going to use this later um, to store in our user sessions table um, so that we know what a user agent is. And the thing is, is we the reason that we're going to strip away the version numbers is because it's, it would, it's going to be a little less accurate. However, um, it's not going to really kill someone's sessions 
if they update, like say Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser they're using, uh, and if we store those version numbers, uh, then it's going to, if they update, then their cookies no longer gonna work to log them in. So um, just follow along here and it'll make a little bit of sense later when we, when we use it. So PHP gives us uh, in the server, in the, not session, Actually, this is supposed to be server. There we go. So that will give us the entire full user agent. So actually, um, before we, let's just go ahead and do this. Return U agent. And then let's jump into our register. Um, so I'm gonna open, let's jump into our register login action right here. And what we can do is um, we're just going to return session u agent no version. Okay. And then if we we don't want to return that, we want to echo that, and then we'll just kill the page. So we don't have to worry about the view. So now you can see that this is my full user agent. And there's the thing of it is, is like we have this Chrome 52.0.2743.116. And um, we don't, like I said, if I update this to 53 or something or a minor update, then I don't want to store this exact user agent. Okay. So that's why we're going to process this a little bit. And so what we're going to do is back in our uh, session, let's, uh, we're going to use some regex here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to escape forward slash, okay? And then we're looking for A through Z, capital A through Z, and 0 through 9. And that's going to be a group. And we're going to go ahead and look through um, all of that. Also, we'll add a period in there as well. Okay. So then what we can do is set new string is equal to preg replace. Give it the expression. We're going to replace that expression with a empty string, and we're looking at the U agent there. And then what we want to do is return new string. So now let's uh, refresh this, and now you can see that what it's done is it's gone in and removed uh, my Chrome version, Safari version, um, you know, so. This is going to be a little bit better to store. Um, and plus, uh, by doing so, I'll, even if someone guesses that we're using the user agent um, with our cookies, because um, you can spoof a user agent, they're really not going to know how we um, strip those out of there. So they're not going to know our algorithm for that. So it's going to make it just a little bit more secure by changing it as well. Okay, so that is our session class. Um, we'll use that plenty. So uh, I just kind of wanted to, since this is the most um, complex method in here and you may not understand why we did this, I just wanted to kind of uh, show an example of us using that. So we're not really going to do that in our register page um, like that, but I just wanted to show an example. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that line. And then we're going to build our cookie class now. And this one's going to be pretty easy as well. Um, this is, make sure you have the capital C. All right. So we'll do a public static function set. And this is so that we can set the cookie. All right. And what we're going to need for parameters here is a name. 
a value and an expiry, which is just how long we want that to live for. And then we're going to say if set cookie, which is a base PHP uh, name value, and then we'll use time plus expiry. And we're going to set that on the root domain. Okay. If that happens, we're going to return true, else we're going to return false. Okay, so that's setting cookies. Uh, so now let's go ahead and create a public static function for deleting the cookie. And we're just going to pass that a name. Uh, this is pretty easy, but uh, we're going to use our uh, set because you can't really delete a cookie, you just need to set it with a time less than your current time. So um, we're gonna pass that name. We'll put the value at uh, empty, but it really doesn't matter to do that. We'll just set time minus one. And that, oops. Yep, that will delete the cookie, okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to get a cookie. So public static function get, and we're just going to pass that a name as well. And we're going to return our cookie name. So that'll return the value of the cookie. And then we can also do we can check if it is set, so we can say public static function exists, okay, and on this we'll go ahead and pass that name as well, and we're just going to return uh, is set, so that'll return true or false, so it's a boolean. And that's it. Um, that's our cookie and our uh, session class. So I will see you guys in the next video and we will continue on with this uh, user registration system.